Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome. As you come in, please say hello. Let me know that you are there. Just want to say hi and I don't bite. Um, so if you're watching this on a replay, please type replay at the bottom so that I know that you watch this. Um, I know I've been MIA for a while, but um, I happen to be in, uh, where was that? In Houston, uh, Monday and Tuesday. So I am back in town. And so I thought I would get on and do a little chalking. So I went to Hobby Lobby a couple of weeks ago and they had some canvases on sale. These were already painted. This is a, a light gray. Um, and I got a really good deal. It was, uh, they were $7.99 and they were on clearance for $1.99. And there was uh, three of them. So I got a pretty good deal. Um, let me throw that away. So I have a transfer. Tonight I want to use Always Kiss Me Goodnight. And it fits perfectly on this uh, small canvas, so I want to put it on there. But first, I want to fuzz my transfer, because if we do not fuzz your, the transfer, um, we can um, damage the transfer. The, the transfer can stick to your surface, and when you try to take it off, the green might stick to the back, and you don't want that. Okay, this isn't coming off. So, as you can see, I don't have no polish on this one. I, I was chewing it off. Um, okay, here it goes. So, you will notice that the awesome thing about our transfers is that we have built-in silk screens. So, there's a screen in here. Everywhere you see the empty spot, there's a screen. That is what helps us... Uh, to put on our paste nice and evenly. Okay, so again, we want to uh, fuzz our transfers um, because they stick so well that uh, we want to make sure that we don't ruin them. Now, if you are going to be using um, a transfer on uh, fabric, then you don't have to um, fuzz it. You actually want it to stick really well to that, so there's no need to do any fuzz. Um, when you're working with glass uh, or tin or anything like that, you really, really, really want to make sure that you fuzz well, okay? So this is a really easy project. Again, I know that some of you have said that, you know, it's um, you don't know if you could do the layering. So I get it. Sometimes it's kind of intimidating, but, you know, once you get going, you know, it just, it just comes natural to you. So I am... Going to align this here. I'm going to try to align this here. So what I'm going to do is I am going to put the lettering in black because this is a great canvas board. I am going to do everything in black and then on the word kiss I'm going to put a uh, uh, so all this is going to be in black, but right here on Kiss, I'm going to put some red glitter. Now, my cousin uh, brought me a whole case of glitter, guys, like like a whole case. Like, I kid you not. She's like, do you want it? I'm like, uh, yeah, but I thought she was just talking about a little thing. All this has glitter in it. So I've got to think of some stuff that I can do. But Okay. But for tonight, I'm just going to use the red. And I'm going to get a towel so that I can dump all the glitter into it. Um, I really should get a piece of paper, but a towel will do. All right. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to open up my paste. And then I am going to stir it to see the, what kind of consistency it has. And if it's not dry... If it's like a yogurt-like consistency, then I'll be good. And I think it's pretty good, actually. So what I'm going to do is I am going to make sure that this is hugging my surface. You can also go over it with your squeegee like this. Okay. Then once I apply the paste, I'm going to take my transfer off because you never want the transfer to dry on your surface 
with the ink or the paste, okay? So I'm gonna put the, apply the paste, I'm gonna pull the transfer off, and then I'm just going to um, apply the red glitter to the word kiss, okay? So let me do that really quick. Just gonna apply my black on here. Just think black is really looks elegant um, on the gray. So I'm just going to apply it, and then I'm going to go back and pick up the excess, okay? You always want to go back and pick up the excess. Um, you don't want to waste any of it, okay? So um, I have a funny story to tell you. Well, it's not too funny, but it's kind of funny at the same time. So my husband and I went to go eat uh, some pizza on, um, on Sunday, and uh, guys, I broke a tooth. And so I'm kind of like needing to go really bad to the dentist. So I have an appointment tomorrow. So let hopefully, you know, I won't, they won't have to like take it all off, but I don't know. So I am going to put this uh, red glitter kind of a chunky one. Maybe I should have used the, the super thin one. But for now, it'll do. We'll just see what it, we'll see what it looks like. I may have to um, reapply the paste and put some black, uh, some uh, smaller um, glitter. I just want to make sure that I've got a good amount on here. So that's that's a really good amount. All right. So anyway, tomorrow, wish me luck. Tomorrow I have my dental appointment. Um, for now, I'm on antibiotics and painkillers. So for a tooth up here at the top. So you can't see it, which is good, but it's back there. So we'll see what they say. I'm kind of nervous about it. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to grab my little, my brush and I'm going to pat it down. And now I'm just gonna try to take it off and see what it looks like. Um, let me use this brush. So all you want to do is just take a smaller brush and just clean it up. I think that looks cute. So you see that? Doesn't that look neat? So always kiss me goodnight. It's such a simple project. This is no layering is involved. Um, so it's really easy, guys. Really, really easy. And then if you have glitter, you can always add a little glitter. Uh, if you have another transfer, you can always do like maybe a pattern or flowers or a little heart, whatever you want. Um, you can also put this transfer like on a pillow or like on a little teddy bear if you uh, or a big teddy bear uh, for a, a child. Because I know I saw a picture of a little girl holding a pillow and, and her pillow said, always kiss me goodnight. And her mom gave her that. So I thought that was really cute. So there's so many things that you can do with this. Um, you can even put this like on your PJs. That would be cute. All right, guys. Um, if you have any questions, please put them below. Um, I'm always happy to answer any questions. Um, I don't know if I will be live tomorrow. It just kind of depends on what, you know, what they do with my teeth. If, if it gets yanked, I am not doing a live. Uh, but we'll just see. I will post something tomorrow. I hope you like this little project. If you're interested in this project, let me know below. I have a transfer, and then I have paste singles so that you don't have to purchase the big uh, jars. I have the smaller ones. And, um, oh, I don't think I have one right here. No. But they're like, a you know, a couple of uses worth. So those are always pretty good. Uh, let me know. Anyway, I will see you later. You all have a great night. And, again, I'll just post something uh, tomorrow about if I'm going to do a live. All right. Good night, guys. Bye.